Our first example in this video uh, is going to be uh, video 3.1, uh, and um, it shows you how you can, play, uh, you can play MP3 sound file in your Python program. Right, so this is just an incredibly simple script. You import play sound, and then you call play sound uh, to uh, play the sound synchronously. There are some additional parameters that you can use with play sound, but they may or may not work on your platform, whether it's uh, Windows or Mac or Linux. So you need to experiment with that. But very basic format, just basically specifying uh, the name of the sound file. In this case, MP3. It can also play uh, WAV files, but in my case, I'm using MP3 in this example. Uh, this call to play sound, play sound synchronously. So basically, until the sound is played, the the uh, the function is blocked. So it will wait uh, for it to finish. And to demonstrate, I'm just saying, okay, once it finishes, um, we can print this message. And this is the whole script. So let's uh, run the script just to see how this works. Okay, so the program is complete. So you might recognize that these are the starting light, um, F1 racing starting light beeps that you typically get before the race begins. Okay, so... Um, uh, so let's. Uh, what's what's interesting about this example is that um, on some systems I was experiencing errors related to directories. So make sure that with play sound you use only forward slashes. It will not recognize the backslash symbols very well, uh, which are specific to Windows. Just use uh, forward slashes. And in my case here, I'm using a dot, which is the uh, reference to the current directory, and forward slash. So on some of my computers, I was experiencing errors without this relative path to the current directory. Okay, so that's pretty simple. And typically, if you try to run this program the first time, uh, because this play sound is an external module, uh, you are very likely to get this module not found error. Um, and uh, that's just uh, the, the the module that's missing. So you need to, so there's documentation for this, but open the command window like I did, uh, preferably with administra administrator uh, privileges, and run this command pip3 install play sound. Pip, uh, pip3 pip is the um, uh, Python in uh, installer uh, package installer program. Uh, so and pip3 is actually specific to Python 3, which are which we're co covering in 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 our series. So pip3 is is the command that will install you the play sound. Okay, so. Um, uh, this is an example of on on one of my computers that I ran pip3 install play sound. Uh, it just gave me this output. It was downloading it first, then it was preparing the installer, then actually ru uh, run the install installer and successfully installed. And shows you which version that I'm using. And uh, sometimes at the end of pip3 execution, it may tell you that a new release of, of Python installation package utility is available. Uh, so to upgrade, you need to run this program. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, and if this is the case, after even after successful install of play sound module, you may still be getting errors like this. Uh, right, so just basically you you run this program and you get those strange errors that that may say the driver cannot recognize the specified command parameter. So it just, just basically tells you that something is out of sync with the library itself. Well, guess what? Just run this program, right? Python XE and just basically upgrade your Python installation package. And after that, rerun. Uh, I think I needed to rerun the uh, the installer. OK, so it doesn't doesn't change anything. If you already have the current version, it's not going to change anything. And after that, the program should work nicely.
Okay, so this is an example of me running this uh, command to upgrade pip on one one of one of the one of the computers, and you can see that it was uh, giving me this output and ev eventually reported that it success successfully installed a new version of pip. So anyway, after you are done with all of these. Uh, Python um, package uh, installation issues, uh, you should be able to uh, play uh, MP3 and WAV files pretty easily uh, from within your Python programs.